In the United States, proper medication and needle storage and disposal is a huge issue. However, most people do not know how to properly store and dispose of their medication and needles. Today we're going to talk about these issues and show you the proper and improper way to store and dispose of your needles and medication. Let's take a look in your average pharmacy. Hey, I'm here to pick up my augment prescription. Okay, let me find it. Here it goes. Do you have any uh, questions for me today? Uh, my doctor didn't really tell me how to take it. Okay, well, you're going to want to take this 5 milliliters twice a day for 10 days. You're going to want to make sure to store it properly, and at the end of your 10 days, you're going to have some leftover, so you're going to want to make sure to dispose of that properly as well. What exactly do you mean, properly? Pharmacists are a great source for the general public to get information about proper medication and needle storage and disposal. They are, after all, the most accessible health care provider in the United States. Let's look at some other do's and don'ts with proper medication and needle storage and disposal. As you can see, moisture can damage your medications. Find another place to store your medications, like the kitchen, away from the heat of the stove. If your medication has to be refrigerated, do not store it in the door of the fridge. Temperature can fluctuate widely there. Instead, you should store it on the shelf of the fridge in a designated area for medications only. That way you do not confuse your food with medication. Additionally, you want to make sure it is out of the reach of small children. Every year in the United States, thousands of children are poisoned and die from an overdose on prescription medications. However, young children are not the only age group that you have to worry about when you're storing those medications. When you or another family member is taking a controlled drug, such as a strong painkiller like OxyContin, it is best to store the medication in a securely locked location. This will ensure that no one else has access to the medicine. In the United States, prescription drug abuse is second only to marijuana abuse in the teenager population because teenagers believe they can get a safe high. Talk with your teenager about the dangers of abusing prescription drugs. When disposing of medications and needles, never put them in the trash without altering them because children and pets can easily access them. As discussed earlier, this can result in harm to your pet or child. We will show you how to properly dispose of medication later in the video. Only certain controlled medicines are recommended to be flushed down the toilet. It is best to check with your local government or pharmacist to see what medications are safe to flush. In general, Medications such as antibiotics and hormonal agents like birth control pills are discouraged from being flushed down the toilet because they can have a negative impact on the environment. In recent studies, it has been shown that flushing of antibiotics is contributing to the emergence of antibiotic resistant bacteria. Additionally, you need to remember that whatever you flush down the toilet has a good chance of ending up in your drinking water. Ah, refreshing. All right, now I'm going to show you the way to properly dispose of your medication that is going to be safe for the environment and your family and pets. So you're going to want to take any unused or expired medications and place them into a plastic Ziploc bag. If the medications are solid, such as these, you're going to either want to crush them or you're going to want to add water to the bag to dissolve the medication. At this time, you can pour any liquid medications you want into the bag as well. The next thing you're going to want to do is add something to the bag that makes it less palatable. So no one will want to get into the bag and eat it. Something such as kitty litter, sawdust, or used coffee grounds. Today we're going to pour kitty litter into it. So 
now that the kitty litter has been added, we can just go ahead, close the bag, and throw it away in the normal trash. It's simple as that. So we showed you how to properly dispose of medication, but how do you properly dispose of needles? The first thing that you want to do is check with your state regulations to see what they have on proper needles disposal. Today we're using North Carolina standards. The first thing you're going to want to do is to find either a hard plastic container or a metal container that has a screw on cap or a securely fitting cap. As we see we have a laundry detergent container today and most people have this around their house. Great thing to use. You clearly want to mark the container so it says household sharps on it and do not recycle. You can then place your sharps into the container. When the container is full, secure the cap and you'll want to use tape to tape the cap to make sure that it does not come off. All right. Once your tape's secured, all you have to do is throw it in the trash. And it's as simple as that. So I'm going to store it in the fridge on the shelf of the refrigerator, away from the food and other stuff. And then when I get finished, I uh, mix the remainder with coffee grounds and throw it away. Yep, absolutely correct. Any, any other questions? I think that's it. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Remember that proper medication and needle storage and disposal starts with you. Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. And they're always glad you came. You want to be where you can see. Our troubles are all the same. You want to be where everybody knows your name.